Hello, this is Mark from View Storefront. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize and expand Storefront UI. Let's go. If you're not familiar with Storefront UI, here's a quick intro. It's a design system and UI library developed by Vue Storefront to make your shop look good. It's mobile first, accessible, and fast. It's fully customizable, optimized for e-commerce websites, and comes by default with every Vue Storefront project. So, let's go. First things first, to see all the examples from this video, clone our GitHub repo and change into the folder Storefront UI Customize. The project has two pages. One simpler page with only two components and one fully fledged website, one page copied from the Storefront UI docs. Now, there are three ways to customize Storefront UI. One, by changing global CSS variables. Two, by changing component-specific CSS variables. And three, slots. In this video, we are going to explore all three of them. Let's start with changing global CSS variables. This is if you want to change a global characteristic of your website, for example, the accent color. You can find variables to customize in node modules, Storefront UI, Shared, Styles, and in the folder Variables. There you will find three files. There's colors.scss, where we have all color-related variables. Then we have layouts.scss for layout variables, such as spacing units. The last one is typography.scss for everything font-related, font families, font weights, font sizes. So let's code something. By default, Storefront UI ships with a dark green color, seen as here in the button, here in this dot, here also in this banner, also another button, and also these stars. Also, when we click a green button, there's a light green color appearing in the background of the button. But let's say we want to change this color, for example, to a hot pink color. How are we going to do that? There's one thing we need to know before manipulating colors. If we inspect this page and we scroll down here, we see tons of colors with an underscore C. All these colors with an underscore C are internal values. These are generated and they are not to be changed. What we want to do is the following. We import this colors helper and use the generate color variance mix-in. What this does is generating a bunch of colors that can be used in the project later on. Then we use the assign color variance mixing. This assigns a color and its variance, or in other words, generates a few more variables. Now when we take a look at our website, we can see that the colors changed. Here the button, this dot, also this badge, and even these stars changed. But there's a catch. When we click a button, it still has the green background here. Upon further inspection, we can see that this button also uses C primary variant. So let's fix it by assigning C primary variants to a lighter version of our color. Let's check if it worked. Perfect. That's it for global variables, but now let's take a look at component specific variables. You use this if you want to change a specific thing about a component. In order to know which CSS variables can be changed for each specific component, we have to take a look at our docs. To access the docs, go to docs.storefrontui.io. When you take a look at the left menu, you can see components categorized in atoms, molecules, organisms, templates, and pages. You can also just use the search to find what you're looking for. For example, button. What you can find here is the documentation of some properties, but we are interested in the CSS variables. We can see those when we go to Canvas here on top and here on the bottom to CSS custom properties. If, for instance, we want to give our button rounded corners, we can look here for button border radios. And in this simulator, we can already try how it would look. For example, 8px, 
And we can see that it has rounded corners. Neat. Now let's implement this in our project. We can go ahead and target our buttons with SF button and overwrite the button border radius variable. When we take a look at our website, we can see that it worked. We don't necessarily have to override CSS variables. We can also set other properties in our component. For example, this box shadow. And also that worked. Neat. Now that we successfully customized our button component, let's go to the last method to customize storefront UI, slots. There are two different types of slots we can use. Default slots or named slots. To find out which slots are available for each component, we have to go to the docs. When we go to a component page, for example, button, and we scroll down to slots, we can see which slots are available. In this case, it says default, so there's only one slot available to fill with our content. If, for example, we look at the alert component, we can see that there are more than one slots, icon and message. Let's take this to practice. Let's start with something simple, for example, a button. When we use slots, we pass something onto a component that will be displayed somewhere within it. That can be anything. For example, a text. But it doesn't have to be a text. It can be any HTML element or another component. For example, an icon. For this next example, we have an alert component that doesn't use any slots. So let's change that. In order to know which slots are available, we head to the documentation and we can see the slots here, icon. I want to put an icon in this alert box. We just type template, hash sign, and then the name of the slot, and then the content we want to use. In this case, an emoji. It could also be an icon or anything else. All right, that's a wrap. I hope you learned how to customize Storefront UI in this video. And don't forget to read the documentation if anyways you run into some roadblocks, don't worry, just join our Discord server, discord.storefront.io, and someone from the team will be happy to help. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this next video as well. If not, just subscribe and you will be notified when new videos come out.